You all heard the no pain no gain approach and the talk about the insane training it takes to become a great athlete. But there is one thing that is not as often talked about when it comes to development as an athlete. And in a way I would say that this is the easiest way to improve and no matter what sport you're doing, this actually works. World class athletes like Eliud Kipchoge, Roger Federer and Lebron James do it for more than 10 hours a day. In this video I will talk about how and why this is so important and what happened to me when I seriously neglected this part of being an athlete for 8 months. If you haven't guessed it yet, I'm talking about the simple act of just laying down, closing your eyes and getting enough sleep. Most of us know how important sleep is. I mean, we actually don't survive going too long without it. The longest someone has ever survived without sleep is 11 days. So that sleep is important, there is no question about. When we sleep, our bodies and brain recover, get stronger and learn. There have also been studies showing that lack of sleep is correlated with different diseases, depression, bad brain function, increased inflammation and the list of uh, bad effects from lack of sleep just goes on. So how much sleep is uh, enough sleep? Of course as with everything it will be a bit individual how much sleep each person will need. But most experts uh, seem to advise 7 to 9 hours of sleep for adults. But most probably if you are doing a lot of training and especially high intensity training that number will have to go up. A rule of thumb often used is that for one hour of intense training you should add one hour extra sleep. Elite athletes of course train a lot but most of them also seem to sleep quite a lot. I have seen so many elite athletes talking about how much they sleep and how important part of their training uh, sleep is. Besides sleeping at night, many seem to take a nap in the middle of the day between training sessions as well. There will of course be exceptions uh, to the rule, but here are some examples. Roger Federer and Lebron James have been talking about getting as much as 12 hours of sleep in a day. And here are some athletes that have been talking about getting as much sleep as 10 hours uh, during a day. Usain Bolt, Venus Williams, Steve Nash and Eliud Kipchoge. And if you start looking for this you will find many other athletes that talk about the importance of getting a lot of sleep when you train as much as an elite athlete uh, does. Okay, so sleep is important and elite athletes seem to get a lot of sleep. But does sleep make you a better athlete? Firstly, short term sleep deprivation seems to have a negative impact on performance. A study on the effects on sleep deprivation on running endurance found that participants covered nearly 3% less distance on no sleep the night prior than they did when well rested. But what will have an even bigger impact on uh, your performance is the long term effects of uh, not getting enough sleep. The most important thing in training uh, if you want to develop over time is that you manage to stay consistent without getting long breaks due to getting sick or injured. And studies have shown that getting sufficient sleep will both improve your immune system and reduce your risk of uh, getting injured. A recent study looked at 95 endurance athletes and tracked health uh, complaints. They found that the biggest increase in injuries were among those athletes who struggled with their sleep and slept less than 7 hours uh, per night. Sleep is also known to be essential for recovering from your workouts. Since sleep enhances uh, muscle recovery through protein synthesis and human growth hormone release. And if you can recover faster you can do more training and simply get better at whatever you are training for. Of course sleep in itself will not all of a sudden make you a great runner or athlete. I promise if you don't train at all and sleep all day 
your running performance will not be that great. But sleeping well will allow you to do more good training. So I would say that sleep is an essential part of trying to develop over time as an athlete. And I think it's talked a bit too little about. And how important this is I have gotten to understand very well over the last couple of months. So with all this said, have I been practicing what I preach? No is the simple answer to that, at least not for the last 8 months. So 8 months ago me and my wife got the twins and that has been great in so many ways but getting to sleep has, as you probably can imagine, been a pretty big struggle. I think most of you who have kids yourself probably understand and if you have twins I know you understand. <laughs> As you know if you have watched my channel from before, I'm a runner that trains uh, quite a lot. And before becoming a dad, I averaged about uh, 9 hours of sleep per day and made sure to sleep extra during tough uh, training periods. But over the last 8 months I think that I have averaged about 5 or 6 hours uh, per day. So this period of my life has for sure been an interesting experiment when it comes to how my body responds to way less sleep than I'm used to and it has really made me understand how important uh, sleep is. So what have I noticed uh, during this period? First of all I quickly noticed how badly I recovered from longer training uh, sessions and tougher training sessions. An interval session that took me about two days to recover fully from before when I was sleeping my usual nine hours now take up to a week to recover from. And the day after a tougher run I feel absolutely crap both mentally and physically. So this has forced me to reduce uh, the amount of higher intensity workouts. And also most of my runs are a lot shorter than before. When my sleep started getting uh, so bad I quite quickly realized that I need to shift my focus in training from trying to become better and develop to just try to maintain as much fitness as possible during this period and allow myself to make some of my runs really short and easy if my body clearly isn't recovered. So many of my runs are just 10 minutes long but I still keep my streak of running one to two times every single day. And I hope that will keep my shape at least okay until the nights hopefully become a bit better here at home. I think reducing my training intensity and volume has been the reason why I have managed to not get sick or injured with the very little sleep I've had. But still I have felt a bit more small aches here and there during my runs compared to when I was uh, sleeping way more. So if you have the possibility and care about your general health and athletic performance I would highly recommend prioritizing getting enough uh, sleep. Now the twins are sleeping downstairs so I need to take the opportunity and go to bed and get some hours of sleep myself. But if it's not quite your bedtime yet you and you want to watch another video you can click here or here. As always thanks for watching, train smart, have fun and I will see you in the next video. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs>